Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program a part that has a groove right in the center using the saw blade. Okay, so let's get to it. So uh, I made a video about a month ago on how to program a part using the saw blade here in Fusion 360. Um, that part had a rabbit and was easy to program. Okay, I'm going to show you that. Okay, this is the one right here. Okay, this one was easy to program. Um, when you have a part that has a groove anywhere, um, it's, it's tricky to program this, um, a part like this using Soul Blade Fusion 360. Okay, um, it took me took me a few minutes to to get this right, and finally got it right. Um, I'm gonna show you um, what saw blade I have, my tool library. That's the only one I have in the machine, uh, in the x-axis, which is this guy right here. Right click, edit. I wanna show you the size of the cutter and the type is gonna be, um, it's always gonna be a slot mill, okay? So when you're creating a new saw blade, in your tool library, make sure the type is a slot mill, okay? Uh, the orientation is this is not the right one. We're gonna we're gonna change this, okay? In a few minutes, okay? This is the size of the saw blade I have, all right? This is the fluid length, okay? And under post pro cutting data, this is where you can you can change the spindle speed. The cutting fee rate, okay. Um, and the last one I want to show you is the post processor. This is um, this is going to be the number of the tool that you have in your machine. In my case is uh, 41, which is the saw blade that does that's in the x-axis. Okay, I don't have one in the y-axis. All right, uh, so I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna create a new setup. And the z-axis is gonna be the stop face. The y-axis is gonna be this edge here. And the stock um, stock point, box point is gonna be this guy right here. And the model, I'm gonna uncheck it. Yeah, I'm gonna select it again. Okay, is the model right here. Uh, on the stock tab, I'm not adding material. On the post process tab, this is uh, where I'm going to name the program, which is going to be saw underscore grooving underscore center. Okay. And I'm going to write a comment, which is going to be 100. Millimeters saw blade in X. Click OK. Now the setup has been created. Next, I'm going to use a 2D pocket. I'm going to select the tool. I'm going to select the saw blade. And I'm gonna have to change the orientation, okay? And I'm gonna do that by going to the geometry tab. Uh, before selecting the pocket, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check on tool orientation, okay? And under tool orientation, I'm gonna drop it down, and I'm gonna select z-axis, plane, and y-axis, okay? So it's asking me to select the z-axis, which is going to be this edge here. Next is going to be the y-axis. I'm going to select this edge here, All right? Uh, next, uh, I'm going to select the pocket. I'm going to rotate the model. And I'm going to select this pocket here. This is, this is basically the bottom, right? This is the bottom right here, this wall, 
right? Instead of being this this face here, it's gonna be this guy here because because how the so see how the tool is um, oriented. See it? See the Z axis is pointing this direction. So you're gonna select this wall here, okay? Okay. You can you can do it all the way. You can um, under setup. You can um, actually on under tool orientation. Uh, if you want to select this wall here, then you're gonna have to you have to flip the flip the X axis, the Z axis. I'm sorry. Okay. But in this case, I'll leave it the way it is because that. This is how it's gonna work. All right. Um. Uh. Next. Um. Um. I'm not changing. I'm not changing anything here yet because I want you to see. Um. What the tool path is gonna be? Because if you're new to this, you're gonna see it. I know you're gonna see it. All right. All right. Um. For those guys who um. Um. Are not watching this video, okay? They're gonna they're, they're gonna encounter that that issue. Okay, so under passes, um, we're gonna go to minimum cutting radius five millimeters, okay? That's the width of the saw blade, okay? And maximum step over is gonna be a hundred millimeters, okay? That's the the diameter of the saw blade that I have, okay? Yours can be 150 to 100, okay? Um, mine is kind of small. All right, um, we're gonna make we're gonna make sure that multiple depths is checked. And you're gonna change this to five. Uh, finishing step down is gonna be five as well. Um, what else? Uh, make sure this is unchecked, okay? Use even step downs. Make make sure this is not checked. On the linking tab, keep tool down. Check three thousand millimeters. You can you can make this one thousand, whatever you want. Just play around with this. Uh, no leading, no lead out. Uh, rem type. Drop it down to plunge. And what else? Uh, okay. I'm gonna click OK. Get that tool path. All right, this is now it's not what I want, right? Yeah, I'm gonna simulate this so you can see. See that? See this machining here. Okay, you want to keep the saw blade. Okay, between these two walls right here. All right. This is why you want to groove. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to groove outside. You don't want to groove outside this um, this groove, okay? I'm um, gonna close it. And how do we fix this? Uh, right click, edit. Okay, under heights. Okay, we're gonna change this. So I got four planes here, right? I have the clearance height, I have the retract height, I have the feet height, and actually I have five, the top height and the bottom height. So we're gonna change all of them, okay? So um, Fusion thinks that this is a top height, therefore is it's creating a tool path here on this face. All right, so we're gonna move this, all, all of these planes, okay? So from, drop it down, selection, Rotate the model, select this wall right here, and we're gonna do the same thing with the rest of the planes. So um, I'm gonna make this zero. Drop it down, selection, select the wall. Zero, selection, select the wall. Zero, top height, drop it down. Selection, we're gonna select this wall. And there's one more plane at uh, the bottom height. Drop it down, selection. And this is gonna be the bottom. This wall right here. In other words, it's gonna be the depth, okay? Uh, actually, it's gonna be, this is gonna be, um, this is gonna be the, 
the width of the groove when you when you open the programming whoop up, all right? The depth is gonna be it's gonna be four it's gonna be four millimeters, okay? I'm I'm gonna check up by just selecting this edge. Go to the bottom here, see that's four millimeters, okay? That's the depth of this groove, all right? So I'm gonna click OK. Zoom out, all right? Okay, so I get a warning. All right, I knew it was going to happen. I just wanted, I just wanted, I wanted you guys to see this. Okay, so um, the safe distance is higher than the feet height, so it wants me to reduce it. Okay, you see, you notice how you took me to the linking tab. So where it says safe distance, I'm going to change that to zero. This has to be below, below. Um, Everything here, okay. In this case, gonna be zero. Click OK. I get another. I get another warning, okay. Okay, now it's telling me that uh, the ramp clearance, ramp clearance height, and the vertical leading radius is higher than the feet height. Okay, it took me back to the to the linking tab. All right. Click No. So where it says ramp, to the ramp clearance height. Okay, that's going to be zero as well. All right. Click OK. Here's my toolpath. And I'm going to right click, simulate it. I have transparent check. You can check it. Okay, if you want. You want to see the uh, toolpath, you can uncheck it. All right. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna check check transparent. I'm gonna play it. Slow it down a little bit. See, so it retracted, went back, went up, and then came back. Okay, that's all the machine's gonna do. Okay, we run a program like this. All right, so it's three three passes, which means you're gonna have three macros. Okay. Loop walk. Okay. Um, okay. Next, I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna post it. Right click, post process. Got the loop walk uh, post processor here. Okay. Uh, name of the program. Okay. Uh, comment. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to post properties. Okay. Um, Free motion additional, have it 100, uh, 800 millimeters, increases V1. Okay, this is the distance where the machine's gonna park. All right. Okay, um, saw mode, this is really important. Make sure it's on groove, okay? If you, um, you can you can change it to contour, but um, the, only, the, the only time you're gonna change this is when you, um, when you use a 2D contour and you select the contour, let's say you have a swivel saw in your machine, and you just want to miter, you want to miter that, that edge in one shot, then you're gonna to have to uh, use the 2D contour, okay, tool path, and change it here as well, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to groove. Okay, um, I'll drop it down, what else, um, yeah. Everything looks good here. So I'm gonna post it. Save it. Okay. Okay, this is program here. So I'm gonna go to the folder, look for that program. I'm gonna open it up in Woodwalk. And there it is, guys. All right, see three macros, because you have because you have um, you have three passes in Fusion 360. Um, I know you can make um, you can make this uh, you can make this program to be just one macro, and, um, but you have to modify the post uh, processes. Okay. Um, for now, I don't know how to how to do that. Uh, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play around uh, with that and, and try I'm trying to. 
try to um, make this be one macro instead of having you know multiple ones. All right. Uh, okay. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, let me let me show you. Double left click on it. See the depth. Okay, it's four millimeters, right? And my groove is on the center. Okay. Um, I don't have a groove with. Um, you can you can um you can make the groove with automatic in the in the post processor. Okay. Um, I made a video on how to do that. Um, about a month ago. You want to check that out. Okay. Um, see the the unit is forty one. The feed sixteen meters per minute. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm gonna run this on the machine so you can see it. All right, um, but that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.